What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and uh you guys probably saw the title of this video. There is a Lamborghini mod in Farm Simulator uh, 2019. Um, so we're going to look over uh, most of the versions of the Lamborghini. We have the small one here and then the medium one. There's no large tractor. But yeah, we'll be looking at that. But before we go ahead and look at that, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Um, and if you are, make sure to hit that like button and notifications bell as well. And leave a comment uh, for video suggestions or saying that you enjoyed the video. Or if you just subscribed, make sure to tell me that you subscribed. Hit the notifications bell and the like button for a free shout out on my next Minecraft video. Um, so f I guess we'll get into it for all the small track, small versions of the tractors first. Um, so here we just have like literally the basic version of it. Uh, so this is just a basic version. I'll go over them all more in detail later. I just need to show you guys something first. This is the basic version. Literally no lights on top. I forgot to put lights on top of all of them, but whatever. So this is the basic version of the small one. Literally nothing on it except you can tow things on the back. That's literally it. And it's Lamborghini, obviously. Even says it on the side. This one's a bit different as a front hydraulic. Um, so it's one upgraded from this one. Uh, I think this one you can... No, you can't add anything on now this one here is a bit different as a front hydraulic and a front loader so if I wanted I could add um, this thing on right here and lift things with that and then I also have the front hydraulic like this so I could tow things from the front or put like a the uh, leveler thing and this one is downgraded from this it does not have the front hydraulic but it does have again the uh, front loader part and then here's the medium tractor which this is literally the one of the only configurations it is the strongest engine can't change anything about it um, so we're gonna go over the medium tractor first or all the details of it first because uh, it's literally the quickest so this is what it sounds like while driving with the strongest engine sorry for a bit of lag it's just my Wi-Fi is down right now well not really down she's not the best this is this, and it does only have uh, one light on the top, but that's okay. So I'm going to go into the, oh yeah, this one also has the option for um, front loader as well. So if I go to tractors, go to medium tractors, scroll to the very end, click on it. So this is the tractor without anything else. I can add the strongest engine, a front loader attacher, which I have on the one that I was just driving, or I could take it off. It looks better with it off, but with it on, you can do more with the tractor. Again, I cannot change the front hydraulics here. And then I couldn't change the wheel setup, which I did not spawn every single wheel setup because there's a lot. So there's uh, back wheel weights, um, wide tires for all of them, um, wide tires plus back weights, uh, normal tires but rear twin wheels, which is better if you're doing like heavy duty work. And this is like a supreme heavy duty work with twin wheels for all wheels, obviously. And you have the standard again. So that is basically all I have to go over for that tractor. So this tractor is pretty cool. Um, it is stronger than the other tractors, but um, and it can do the same amount of stuff. You just cannot uh, customize it as much as the other ones. The other ones have a bunch of useless customizations. I'm actually just going to go park this at the very end over here. Um, yes, yeah, so the other ones have useless customizations, but they could, they're not completely useless to some people. To me, I wouldn't bother with them, and I think it kind of takes away the purpose of the tractor parts. So we'll just go into the shop, and if I go to small tractors, I'll show you all the configurations there is. If you, if you see, as you can see, there's a scroll bar, which means there's a lot. So this is just a basic tractor that I showed you guys earlier. So I can change the configuration here to uh, front hydraulic or no front hydraulic. Design, I can put uh, without fenders here if you see my mouse and with fenders. I prefer fenders because then you know mud's not going to fly everywhere. Uh, and fun fact, it does actually keep your tractor cleaner. Like mud will not get on your door when you're cleaning your tractor. And then there's obviously all the different engine types that there is. There's, uh, this. there's not, I don't think, yeah, there's only like three options. Um, but... Again, I always put the strongest engine in for an extra 10,500. Not that big of a deal, especially with my uh, million dollar mod. Um, is this, is, oh yeah, that's the fenders. Then front loader attacher, obviously, I can add on, uh, which is always helpful. 
Uh, then we have the wheel setup, which is pretty much the same. You got wide tires, narrow tires, double back tires, double front tires, and wheels with weights. Uh, wheels with weight, wide tires. So same thing. It's just everything smaller. So this is if you're like doing easy work, I do own one of these on my main farm, uh, just for doing work, work around. Because I'm not gonna drive a Lamborghini while plowing my field. Like little over the top and it gets expensive like this small one, 72,000 if I had all the best stuff on if I put on the best engine front hydraulic which actually costs no money oh, I want the fender on a uh, front loader attacher extra 5,500 a uh, wheel setup I wanted the uh, uh, double twins that's an extra 6,000 plus if I wanted to add a uh, beacon on again it's a zero dollars but that raised the price up a lot it used to be 72 Seventy-two thousand plus an extra eighteen thousand, so ninety thousand dollar Lamborghini, Lamborghini small tractor. So, so and again, you can change the colors, but you only have two options, and the other option is kind of ugly. Not gonna lie. Um, so that's that. So we'll go over all the basic versions here. Um, just drive them around, just cause. So this is literally the base model. Literally, I didn't. I just purchased it didn't add any modifications on except to change the engine obviously um, so as you can see it does sound really loud and not Lamborghini ish but you know and I think the best part about these tractors is if you press uh, both your uh, right click and left click and you move your mouse up and down you can open uh, a door like you can open that door like that and if you go sideways you can open that door so let's close the door so, and then if you click middle click and swipe sideways you can open your back window which would be nice if you're like role playing or pretending for air or something I prefer to keep it open because it just looks cool so I, I usually keep it like this a bit like a bit more like that just for some air or pretend air I guess and obviously as working lights uh, I actually don't know how bright these lights get but I can go into the shadows and we can see so uh, F F F okay so they're not too bright in the shadows but I'm guessing they're bright enough for the work you'll be doing with a small tractor um, and then obviously yeah working mirrors uh, I don't like the positioning of them they're really high up I prefer to just look and see them more like a bit lower like if you see that gray so if I turn this way and you see that gray thing uh, on my uh, a door type thing, like right, literally straight in front of me, if the mirror's down a bit and lined up with that. But then again, if you look up, you have mirrors right there and right there, and a sunroof. Um, yeah, this is basically just a default tractor. So I'm gonna go park this one beside our uh, big old boy, and I might actually use a big old boy in my own farm. I don't really know. It's just that it becomes a lot of money. I don't always want to give myself a million dollars just to buy a bunch of Lambos and farm sim. So then there's this one that has the front hydraulics, which if I bought something, if I bought a leveler right now, like, actually, we'll just use this one for now. Customize, buy, yes, okay. Then I could attach this on, unlike the other one where it doesn't even have the front hydraulic. So this one I can attach uh, whatever I wanted onto the front, except for uh, um, the picky up thing. But yeah, see, now, now you can see I can pick it up and then I can control it which is cool and then if I go show you another model in a bit then yeah but otherwise the tractor is the same except that it has a front hydraulic so I'll just put that there and this is the front hydraulic tractor again so this is the one up model with again the strongest engine I always put the strongest engine in my tractors because fields can get really lumpy so yeah I'll just put there so this tractor is like probably the highest model of the tractors again without the lights um so i'm gonna actually quickly uh go to the other one because we'll look at that one last so again this one is the one with the front loader without the front hydraulics to prove to you that i can't uh hook anything up but that is i'm right there it doesn't do anything but if i purchased a front loader piece i think we'll just go with uh this one just because yeah, we'll make it white to match our Lambo. 
So if I went over to there and hooked it on, I could. Unlike um, the, one of the other models that don't have the front uh, attacher, I can't, obviously, like this. So I can do this, and now I can hook a lot more things on and control this. Um, but, you know, it looks kind of weird, honestly. I think I would make the front attacher, or the front loader black instead of whatever I had. Or instead of white. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and take this off and park this tractor. And we'll look at the highest model tractor. The most classy. And the one that can do the most. And then, obviously, uh, I don't care too much for the, uh, beacons because I don't use them. I know the AIs use them all the time. Don't know the purpose, really, for the AIs to use them, but they do. So this, uh, why I can do, have both of these. I don't know if at the same time. But I know I could have both of these. I've never actually seen a tractor that has a front hydraulic and the front loader attached at the same time. I know I've seen options with one or the other, but I've never been able to um, uh, do that or seen like. So if I lower this down, lower this down, and I go and attach it on or attach that front loader on. I don't know if I can, but if I could, then you could literally have like multitasking. Oh, I can. Okay. Alright, so that... This is a little bit weird. If you look on the top right corner, um, it literally shows uh, two things stacked on top of each other. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. But this literally controls both of the things, um, which I don't think is healthy. So yeah, with, uh, oh yeah, because I'm controlling the one. So uh, you can control one at a time, except one of them will control the other. But I think that's cool, because if you're using silage or something, this uh, weird configuration could come in handy. And then if I was, had something on the back as well, if I was, again, doing silage, I could have uh, a, a silage maker, or compactor, so I can compact things and turn it into silage. So I could be like the ultimate tractor if I really wanted to be. And again, this is just a small tractor. You should not put this much stuff onto a small tractor. I'm just gonna, just for the memes, I'm gonna go ahead and buy, uh, is there a scoop? Yeah, I'll buy this scoop here. We're gonna make it, um, I'll just keep it black. And we'll put this on. And now we have the ultimate farming tractor that you can do whatever you want with. Uh, I know my tractor on my personal farm, it is not nearly as complicated and complex as it, but holy crap. If you look at this now, we literally have three things on the front. We have the green uh, thing, um, the green thing on the front, the uh, bucket, the uh, silage thing, and yeah, oh my god, we have so much. This is should not be health this should not be legal well and you have to press g so much times just to switch through but holy dude this is an insane tractor and you have to, oh my god i've never seen this much on one tractor before but this is the ultimate farming tractor if you ever wanted it so in order to get the mod i don't know if it's on playstation or xbox but i know if you just simply go into the mod hub it should be right there. I'll even show you guys. Let me just park this tractor. Oh my god, this is the most insane tractor I've ever seen. Um, uh, actually, I'm just gonna go take a thumbnail picture quickly. I think I'll, uh, well, let's just make our thumbnail. So we'll take this one. Uh, I'm gonna go park it over here. Right here. Do that. That looks nice. Uh, we'll do big medium tractor, medium tractor type guy. Now, as you can see, the lights are actually different on the back. Like, you can tell there's a difference. The size might not matter, but the engine's like a lot bigger. So, I'll park this one like right here. Now, I think we're gonna, we should add in the big bad boy. The ultimate farming tractor, like, oh my god. 
Imagine just like seeing this on someone's farm. Like this would be insanely scary, dude. Okay, I think I'll park this one more like this. Or actually, oh, I need to do a Yui. This is not healthy. Oh my god. This is not healthy. Actually, I think I need one more tractor. We'll use this tractor. Ah, uh, these tractors, they sound so much louder and different than the other normal tractors. Oh, that's cool, it puts like a mark on that thing. So, I want to like show it so you can see the words Lamborghini. So, if I did this as a screenshot. Oh, that looks sick. Except I'm going to turn the, this engine and turn the tires a bit. Now, if I did this, oh, that's a nice picture. This one needs to come in more. Guys, this is how hard it is to make a thumbnail if you really try. Like, I'm really trying to make a thumbnail here. Now, let's see. Now, that's a thumbnail. All right, let's uh, take a picture. All right, picture taken now. I'm going to, yep, perfect saving content. Now that it's saving the content, we can quit the game. And uh, it's going to take us uh, back to the main menu. So once we go back to the main menu, I'm going to show you guys where you can download and install the mod. Not really, well, I guess sort of download. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's available on consoles. I do know it is available on Stadia uh, and PC, obviously, because they have the same platform for this use. So you just simply click on the mods thing right here on your main menu. Then you can click on small tractors and it should be anywhere here. For me, it is like literally the fourth one on the top row right here for the Lamborghini Nitro. Um, and this is what it, that's the other color, which I, again, looks cool, but when it's in the shop, it's not okay. I mean, I, I'm not gonna judge it. I, I like the white one too, but like, I like, I like the gray one too, but the white one's just more farm-y. And the other one, I feel like if you're doing like a street race or a tractor pull, I'd use that. Because that one's more like I would want to show off. And then um, for the medium tractor, you just simply click on medium tractor. And this one's much harder to find. You scroll to the very end, and it should be right here, three from the end. And it is this one right here. What is this tractor? Okay, that's an interesting tractor. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.